Okay, Issa's supposed to be asleep, not watching TV. She's supposed to be out. I saw on TikTok to test to see if your kids are actually sleeping or not. If you lift their hand up in the air and it stays up in the air, they're asleep. But if it falls, they're faking it. So let's see. If it stays up, she's actually sleeping. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. She's... She is out. She's out. <laughs> I've been shopping with my kid for years. She's 11 now and has developed an opinion on everything. She questioned me on why I buy price right, generic, brand items over the brand name. I explain when you only have $100, you can't use it all up buying named foods. It goes further if you buy items at a good price. She says, okay. Five minutes later, when checking out, cashier greets us, how are you doing today? My daughter replies, it could be better. We can't eat brand name food because my dad is cheap. Cheap like a bird. And then begins to flap her arms and goes, cheap, 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 cheap. To be honest, I would just walk out the store. I'm leaving her there. I'm not a parent anymore, all right? I don't know who this child is. She's been following me around the store. I'm not associated with her. I'm not cheap. I'm not broke. I can afford food, I swear. What is the dumbest thing you believed as a child? I thought Michael Jackson has to stop whatever he was doing and sing when I play a CD. As a result, I never played it at night to give him some family time. Some little white girl between 8 and 10 in Starbucks just looked at me and said, Whoa, a beautiful chocolate man! And her dad literally grabbed her arm and said, Emily, Emily, what the f*** is the matter with you? What, what are you doing? Hey, at least she said you were beautiful. In my book, that's a dub. And to be honest, at least you're not the dad. All right, he saw his life flash before his eyes. He saw the Twitter posts. He saw himself losing a job. Everything in his life was about to go kaput. All because his daughter wanted to compliment you on your chocolate skin, bro. When I was six years old, my grandmother took me to the shopping mall. While we were walking around, we reached the section with an aquarium. They were selling live fish, and I became captivated by them. My grandmother continued walking ahead, and I ended up getting lost. I looked around and couldn't find my grandmother. I went to the area with the cash registers and told the people that I was lost. They took me to a place with a microphone and asked for my mother's name. I told them my mother's name, and they made an announcement saying that a child was lost, but no one came. They kept making announcements for half an hour, and finally I said that my mother wasn't here, and that actually I had come with my grandmother. This time, they asked for my grandmother's name, I told them, they made another announcement, and again, no one came. After quite some time, my grandmother spotted me, rushed over to us, and thanked the people in sign language, and gave me a tap on the head, and then we left from there. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, bro, no way. <laughs> I really wonder how those cashiers felt, bro, saying your mother's name multiple times, and then after realizing that you're an idiot, saying your grandmother's name over the microphone, and then realizing that you're a complete dunce when your grandmother came over and started signing. Good grief. Children running a museum knock over 50,000 pound glass sculpture of Disney Castle. Oh my god, imagine being the parents, because you know for a fact that these kids have zero pockets, man. They have zero net worth, they're not going to be able to pay for that. A mom and dad had to foot that bill. I really wouldn't know what my reaction would be if my child was being escorted with a manager and that manager telling me that I owe them $50,000. You know what, to the people out there who have successfully manufactured a sentient being, tell me in the comments how you'd react in this situation. Would you mortgage your house to pay this bill or would you drop your kid off at the orphanage? Let us know in the comments down below. Your Wii is not thirsty. It does not want orange juice. Yeah, I got a quick story for y'all. My sister told my little brother, the vacuum is hungry, so stay away unless you want to get eaten. Following this logic, he proceeded to pour water in the vacuum saying, the vacuum was thirsty. He was four. Gave the stepkid, 13, $50 for his birthday. Within two days, he gave it all to streamers and YouTubers. He got nothing for himself with it. Hey, at least he is a fan, right? He really likes supporting his content creators online, but dang, bro, you didn't buy a single video game for yourself? Like, come on, 50 bucks at 13? I felt like a millionaire. I would have been very careful about spending that, but hey, maybe this is his way of having fun by giving grown people money.
Aw, she loves her whole family. If only she knew how to spell it. Nossa! Vai, pula na água, quero ver. De bunda. Meu Deus! Meu Deus! Hi everyone, my name is Frankie. I don't earn money at home. Uh, I'm a freeloader. You know, I just eat food and watch TV. And my parents love me, so they keep the lights on and the fridge full. To be honest, I wish I could be a freeloader again. Man, I really slept on, what, 18 years of no bills. And I remember being so excited about having a job, you know, being able to earn money. But they didn't tell you that the moment that you start earning money is the moment that everybody starts asking for it. Missing girls found hiding on their roof. Solana Beach, two missing girls were found safe on the roof of their house after sheriff's deputies searched for them for hours, according to the sheriff's crime report. Two sisters, ages 6 and 11 years old, had been sent to bed at 8 p.m. Tuesday night because they would not eat their dinners, according to the report. The parents, who lived on the 100 block of Morella Court, checked the girls at 8.30 p.m. and discovered they were gone and had left behind a note saying that they would not be back, according to the report. Three deputies reportedly searched the neighborhood and nearby golf course until about midnight. At about 2 a.m., the search and rescue unit of the sheriff's deputy department joined the search. And shortly before 3 a.m., a deputy searching the yard at the house reportedly turned his flashlight onto the roof and saw a six-year-old girl looking down. The girls reportedly had spent most of the night on the roof under a blanket. To be honest, we gotta clap up the ingenuity of these little girls, bro. I'm assuming they used a dark blanket to hide under that kinda blended in with the rooftop, because how else would the helicopter not be able to see them? That's just brilliant. I'm going to have to steal that method for whenever I need to hide from the cops. I haven't started my criminal career yet, but I am 22, so I have plenty of time to work on it. What you told me? <gasps> told me Bobby's a vampire. That's why you holding the curtain open? Yes. I'm scared of vampires. <laughs> I took him out shopping for his birthday, told him he could get anything he wanted, and man's picked out soap. Shaking my head. It's not even body soap, it's just hand soap. But to be honest, any young boy that's interested in actual hygiene is progress, man. We're doing great. The generations are getting better. He will be the only little boy in his class that'll actually have clean hands. All right, that is an achievement. guessing game we did at work with the kids. One kid guessed it to be six, even though we counted six stones with him together and tried to explain that it certainly must be much more, he still decided to write down six. iPhone is so much better because it's more expensive, which is good because that means it's good quality and shows its worth. Also, the layout is 100 times better. With iPhone, the app logos and emojis are clear and so much better than Samsung. You're absolutely right, Daisy. Expensive just means better. If a price is higher, the quality is higher. This is true with everything, and I challenge anyone in the comments to prove me wrong. You simply cannot do it. It is impossible. My argument is infallible. So one time in like kindergarten, this kid named Billy, who was after me in the lunch line, decided to copy what I got for lunch without telling me what he was doing. Then got mad at me saying, you made me take carrots. I'm allergic to carrots. He tried to tell the teacher I was trying to make him have an allergic reaction. Caterpillar. <laughs> after a 15 minute wait, my son asked for a snake from the balloon animal lady. Wow, what a snake. What a beautiful creature right there. Uh, quick question though, which part is its face? Um, cause I'm having a hard time figuring out where the front is. My daughter met Poop and Pee at the city wastewater treatment exhibit. 
and cried when we had to leave them. Aw, they're so adorable. I know why she cried though. She didn't get to meet the third character. Toilet Paper Man, he's hiding behind P. <laughs> Kids injured themselves trying to fly after watching Peter Pan, so producers added fairy dust. Fairy dust effects were later added to Peter Pan for health and safety reasons. Originally, Peter and the Lost Boys could fly unaided, but after several reports of children injuring themselves attempting to fly from their beds, J.M. Barry added fairy dust as a necessary factor for flying. And our final post of the day is about this young lady. When you thirsty, but you can't read, she is preparing the saltiest and most bitter drink of all time. But hey, maybe this will be the incentive to learn how to read early. Otherwise, you're going to get kicked in the teeth with salt and chicken flavor. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aileris aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you can get these notifications every time. For those of you who have been wondering why I've been gone for three weeks, it's because I've been working on a new Morbid Reality video that was uploaded earlier this week. So go ahead and take a look. The video is linked in the description and in the pinned comment. And I really hope you guys enjoy that one because it's extra long and extra creepy. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon support that make content like this possible. A big thank you to AFK Junkie, Zenith2A, Mr. Sandman, Mike, Sleepy Dragon, Power Lover, Sherry Morrison, Tron Destroy 23, Fitz Chivalry, Code Connor Purvis, S16, Squish, Rare Days, Mr. Bean, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Fanneker, Bloody Hunter, Keely, Dundernass Hawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.